Drug testing has been commonplace in the American workforce starting in the 1980s and has continued to grow in use through today. Even as our legal prohibition on drugs, particularly marijuana, has started to soften in recent years. This brings up a question of what the future of drug testing should be and what benefits it provides to society and to the employer. Let's take a look at a few of the pros and cons of workplace drug testing. So the biggest pro of workplace drug testing is that it can help eliminate addicts and other people with drug problems that may affect their job performance. And people who are suffering from drug addiction or other drug-related problems are likely to be less productive and more problematic employees for the employer. Another big issue is accidents and injuries on the job especially for jobs that involve things like driving or operating heavy machinery. Being on drugs can increase the risk of an employee being involved in an accident and cause injury to themselves and other employees, or possibly even death. Additionally, there's a huge amount of money that has to be paid out by the employer in terms of workers' compensation, and in some cases, legal settlements when people are injured on the job. Another big benefit for employers related to this is that insurance and liability costs are often lower just by implementing a drug testing program. Insurance companies will often offer lower rates to employers that aggressively drug test, as they think it will reduce the likelihood of them having to make a major payout. One of the biggest problems with drug testing is that it is highly invasive of employees' privacy. Drug testing involves urinating into a cup, often while someone is observing you, and you often have to disclose certain medical conditions and legal prescription drugs you are taking in order to prevent false positives. And there have also been cases where employers have taken information from these urinalysis tests outside of just drug use, things like screening female employees for pregnancy in order to discriminate against them based off of their medical status. Another big con is that employers may be losing out on high quality candidates, especially companies that drug test for marijuana in places where it is legal, either recreationally or medically. Many potential employees may choose to avoid working at these places because they enjoy partaking in legal marijuana or they need the medical benefits of marijuana. And using marijuana in their off time has no effect on their ability to do the job. And most people who consume marijuana are not addicted and do not use it enough for it to be a substantial problem that would affect their ability to perform a job. Another big problem with drug tests is that they may lead to dismissing employees or denying employment offers to people who are not even using drugs. No drug test is 100% accurate, and even a very small inaccuracy percentage can affect many thousands or even millions of employees. Millions of employees are drug tested every year. Even a 1% false positive would result in 100,000 people out of every 10 million tested being denied jobs or being fired. And this can have a huge negative effect on both the individual who loses their job and the employer who may be losing out on well-qualified employees who have done nothing wrong. A final drawback to drug testing employees is simply the cost. The cost for testing drugs varies, but it tends to average around $40 per test. And while this may seem small, if you are testing every single employee, and especially if you are doing this on an annual basis, this cost can add up significantly. And this is only part of the cost. Employees often have to take time off of their normal duties in order to go and perform these tests, meaning you're also losing out on productive work hours by having employees take these tests. Ultimately, drug testing is something where there is a lack of objective knowledge in order to determine exactly what its benefits are. 
It's very hard to tell what the effects are of drug testing on the bottom line of companies, as much of their financial data is not public. And while there are some benefits that are fairly clear, like lower insurance premiums, others are far more convoluted. It is also very hard to piece out what comes from drug testing and what comes from other policy changes. When employers put in place drug testing procedures, they often make other changes to their employee policies at the same time. And it can be hard to break out what is because of the actual testing and what is because of some of these other changes. A further question is about what drugs should be tested. The makeup of American drug use in terms of which drugs are used most changes all the time, and there are many drugs that are very new or that are legal prescription drugs that make up a notable portion of drug abuse that may not be tested. There's also a question of whether marijuana should continue to be tested given how much information is coming out about how one it is a relatively low harm drug, being far less harmful than alcohol, according to most studies. And two, as it becomes a legal drug in many states, the impetus for drug testing has always focused on illicit or illegal substances, which for a long time included marijuana. But as more and more states legalize marijuana, and as its medical use becomes more and more mainstream, and eventually when the federal government changes its policies, it's a significant question whether this drug should continue to be tested or not. My personal view is that at this time, there is simply not enough evidence to justify random drug testing of employees where there is not a critical safety function. Someone who operates heavy machinery or is driving, it may be reasonable, but a white-collar office worker poses very little risk from being on drugs on the job. And if they're failing to perform their work because of using drugs or anything else, that is the reason they should be fired or disciplined. And employees who choose to partake in drugs outside of the workplace, particularly marijuana in places where it is legal, should not be banned by their employer from doing so. Let us know what you think about the pros and cons of workplace drug testing in the comments below.